Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Oscar De La Hoya has directed Golden Boy President Eric Gomez to make Canelo vs. Triple G3 for May 2019. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working now there's some recent news it's still in the rumor stage so follow this under ego rumor mill but you know rumor has it that oscar de la hoya has instructed golden boy prez to begin negotiating with canelo his for his side to have a triple g trilogy in second of my weekend of this year and you know there's nothing that's official it's not confirmed in fact, we don't even know for a fact who Triple G is going to be boxing with, you know, so we don't know all the logistics. A lot of people think it's going to be a DAZN. If it, if it is announced that he's going to DAZN, then this would be a good indication that this is something they could do. Tom Loeffler was reported to be not handling the career of Golovkin, but then he fired back and came back and said people are spreading false statements and stuff like that so i don't know i don't know who's handling golovkin i don't know if he's contractually bound to loffler i don't know if he wants to be with loffler i don't know the details but there's a conflicting uh sides when it comes to that so beyond that i want to talk about canelo versus triple g2 and or actually part three you know this is is disappointing news to me like DAZN, I understand. This is what I think happened. I think DAZN needs a big hit. You know, so far, what Eddie Hearn has been able to produce hasn't really been, like, as far as the boxing department, hasn't really been any major American fights like a Broner Pacquiao, Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence, nothing of that sort, right? I mean, Golden Boy, same thing. Like, they had Canelo, who did good numbers in terms of look like the live gate and the ticket sales, but they never released the numbers which is a good indication that it wasn't anything to rave or brag about right so at the end of the day they need a big fight and i think they're kind of gunning for this because this is a a fight that did a million plus two times and now at ten dollars a month they think that they could do you know jump the charts with the fight like this me personally i don't know that it's going to be as big as as they are maybe hoping for for one the second fight trended down what i mean is the first fights live gate just look at it look it up the live gate and the actual buy rate the viewership the amount of pay-per-view buys actually slightly decreased in the second fight so that means with the clint buterall drama and the fight being canceled and then rescheduled and all that people kind of checked out and people were kind of done with it so now you're gonna have to expect for them to come back yet again to the table and then fork out cash the other reason i don't know if it's going to be as big as as they think it is is because i don't me personally i don't want to keep seeing a fight where there's no conclusion you get what i'm saying like it was almost good for boxing when juan manuel marquez knocked out pacquiao because that was something more definitive than either one of them had previously done in the three fights so by him doing that he kind of put an exclamation point and a statement on the saga so you can kind of look at the previous three fights but that was the end-all be-all and they haven't fought since and it doesn't look like they will fight again right but canelo i thought he beat triple g in the second fight first fight i thought triple g won right so that's one reason for a rubber match but amongst the public a lot of people feel different types of ways some people think that canelo won both um some people thought triple g won both different things like that so i don't want to keep seeing guys fight and there's no closure there's no conclusion and it looks like when the two are matched up they're in a competitive fight you know you could tell that they both 
have been in a fight despite who you think won in those different parameters it's like it's up for debate to some people i i thought canelo won but allegedly a lot of people on press row and different people thought triple g won the second one as well so you know i don't want to keep seeing that a third fight and then canelo and triple g like i watch the fight obviously i'm a boxing fan and this is what i do for a living so i'll watch it but i would have preferred to see golovkin and canelo both tackle different options triple g was ordered to fight charlo you know so he's left out of the equation i understand he had a tough fight with matt korobov i was at the fight but he didn't lose his ranking he didn't lose his undefeated record i'm talking about jamal the middleweight right and the wbc ordered for triple g to fight charlo excellent fight and then the winner gets canelo at least have that that little buffer where we see something in between and if triple g got past charlo then it only makes the canelo trilogy fight bigger because people are gonna be like wow triple g is back you know he's not a different fighter or father time or whatever excuses people make when somebody loses they would be like that's a good win if if he were able to beat charlo same goes for charlo if charlo beats triple g then a new new player emerges for for canelo and and this is the thing with like rubber matches is at the end of the day at the end of it all you could fights when the guys names are synonymous they don't have to be back to back look at juan manuel marquez and pacquiao they there was like before the first the second and then the second and third there were years in between those fights the closest of that saga was the third fight and the fourth fight happened relatively close to each other but between the first fight and the second pacquiao fought other people like eric morales or whoever right same with juan manuel marquez so that's what i would prefer here but i think the zone is kind of putting some pressure to create you know a big splash in boxing and i think they're trying to use what they think is already proven um maybe it helps because the price point is only 9.99 a month for that one month but i i don't see long term because like i said people could just get the fight for that one month and then be like oh that was cool and then cancel it so you, you still need to produce a schedule of fights that resonate with the people so we'll see how it all plays out but it's, it's disappointing and then on top of that there's i could go into further further detail oscar de la hoya tweeted and made a video about it he said something like i got something so shocking canelo's next opponent is so shocking the fans will be shocked and surprised if he fights golovkin then i'm not surprised and i'm not shocked and that's not shocking and that's very predictable even you know so it's like what was de la hoya referring to when he says the fans would be shocked to see a guy fight a guy that he sparred with years ago and had two professional fights that lasted 24 rounds you know two 12 rounders 24 rounds and then him going to fight those guys instead of guys who like i've told you stylistically probably are more of a of pain for canelo because canelo has more of a, a american style and some people would get mad at this but i don't care canelo has more of a almost like an african-american style he's very fluid he has good defense you know upper body movements on point slow feet and i think that's what kind of plagues him but ultimately his style is more um of a well-rounded complete fighter kind of like an american style you know he, he mixes it up punches in combination body work has a jab you know defense you know he's just he's all around around complete so i think the guys that would give him more problems would be guys who are kind of similar athletic guys with speed you know power just different variables also that american style is just like golovkin is a good fighter but i think canelo feels that he hasn't pegged and he knows how to beat triple g i mean he's sparred with him several rounds and then had 24 professional pro rounds with Golovkin so he probably thinks he has his number you know so that's kind of the least challenging the guy you're the most familiar with besides like I said they could have fought other guys and still revisited the rematch 
It's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Nothing is said in stone, but this looks like a likely possibility. And again, this is not shocking if they actually motion for that because I think DAZN wants a big fight. But like, what about Daniel Jacobs? He's a champion. Golovkin has no belt. That's, why, that's another reason why I don't think this fight's going to be as big as if they do make it. I don't think it's going to be as uh, raved about as they think. Golovkin is coming off of a loss. We've already seen the fight, 24 rounds of this fight, right? And there's no real conclusion in some people's mind. On top of that, Golovkin's no longer invincible, no longer undefeated. There's really no controversy to me, you know, as far as the second outcome. So Golovkin, on top of that, doesn't have a belt versus guys like Jamal Charles is mandatory. Daddy Jacobs has a belt. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre have a belt. I'd rather see Canelo unify and fight some of those guys. And most of those guys are with Eddie Hearn and or on the zone already. The only person that's really not is like Billy Joe Saunders, who's currently suspended. And then like Danny Jacobs, he's with Eddie Hearn, but he hasn't announced his formal home after HBO boxing um, parted ways and kind of got out the game. Let me know what you guys think. That's my breakdown. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.